These answer choices make it very obvious that we are testing apostrophes, so hopefully we know those rules. Let's take a look at the sentence. The soundtrack to Mira Nair's 1991 film Mississippi Masala expressively captures the clashing of cultures that happens when its two protagonists, a young Indian woman from Uganda and a young African-American man from Mississippi, meet. So first of all, I see what they did there. They're just kind of messing with you. Let's get rid of this, right? It's in parentheses. That means it's extra. So let's just try to follow here. Okay. That's the sentence. Let's let's not let them interrupt us. Um, the soundtrack expressively captures the clashing of cultures that happens when its two protagonists meet. Well, I'm actually going to start with the word protagonist. Do the protagonists own anything? Do they own a meet? What does that even mean, right? Meet is a verb. So how could we follow this noun and, and, and use an apostrophe if the whole point of an apostrophe is it shows ownership of something, it needs to be a thing, right? It needs to be a noun in some way, but meet is a verb. They're, they're meeting. So there's no apostrophe necessary. So that gets rid of B and C. Now we can think about the word it's, right? Is that going to be um, with an apostrophe or without? And this is one of those mistakes that you cannot make at your age. You need to know the difference. It's with an apostrophe is short for it is. And it's without one is possessive. Now that seems weird because we just said that the apostrophe means that protagonists would possess something. Well, this is the weird thing about English is apostrophes in most cases mean possession. But on pronouns, apostrophes mean contraction, that we're taking two words and we're smushing them together. We don't use apostrophes on possessive pronouns. I don't know why, it's just the way it goes. So you have to know that. So just now try to read A with the word it is. Does it sound right? That happens when it is two protagonists meet. No, obviously that's wrong, it's definitely D. But yeah, there's there's possession because the it's it's, it's the film, and so the film's two protagonists meet. In fact, if it said that, if it said that happens when the film's two protagonists meet, then we've got to use the apostrophe, right? So it's still the same thing, the same thing. We're talking about the film, but if we talk about it with a pronoun, no apostrophe, we talk about it as the film, then yes, it gets an apostrophe because the protagonists belong to the film. The film possesses the protagonist. Apostrophes are weird and annoying, but they're very consistent on the SAT. So you definitely gotta know the differences between the word it's and it's with an apostrophe, and then it's not usually where the apostrophes go on words. It's much more about whether we need them at all, and for most words, they show possession. No possession, no apostrophe.